Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Maytag dishwasher wash and peller assembly. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new wash and peller assembly. The wash and peller assembly is what pumps the water through the dishwasher. The main reason you be changing it out is if it's cracked or damaged and you're not getting any water pressure through the spray arms. In order to get to the part, we're going to open up the dishwasher door, pull the lower rack out, take it out and set it aside. First thing we have to do is take off the spray arm. We're going to use a Torque 15 driver to take the screw out and we can lift the spray arm out. With the spray arm out of the way, we can remove all the screws that hold in this plastic housing. We're going to use the same Torque 15 driver for everything in here. Now that we have the screws up, we're going to have to use a small flathead screwdriver. There's a locking tab on the bottom side of this tube that releases this. So we're just going to have to stick it in the back and just release it. Once you have it out, you can just pull the housing out. To get the impeller off, you want to hold it and then we can take our Torque 15 driver and remove the screw that holds it down. Once you have the screw out, we can just lift the impeller out. Here's the old wash impeller next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new wash impeller on, all you have to do is line it up with the motor shaft and push it down. Once you have it down, we can use our Torque 15 driver and put the screw back in. You may have to hold it while you turn it so you can tighten it down. Now we can put this housing back in. Here's the locking tab that you had to release on the bottom. So you want to make sure that goes underneath the tube. And once you have it underneath, then we can lower it down and push it back at the same time so it snaps into place. Then we can use the Torque 15 driver and put the screws in. Then we can put the spray arm back in. All you have to do is set it down into place and then tighten the screw down. Now that we have everything put back together, we can put the lower rack back in. To put the lower dish rack back in, all you have to do is set it on the door. Then you can push it in. Once you have it all the way in, we can close the dishwasher door. Now that you're done repairing the appliance, you can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.